Hello, uh, good afternoon. It's, uh, it's about three o'clock here. Um, I've got some laundry running, uh, but, uh, and it's rainy here. Actually pretty, pretty stormy, uh, just south of here, like, like golf ball sized tail from the thunderstorm warnings. But, uh, here it's just, uh, just rain. Got a little windy for a bit. Hopefully uh, it doesn't pick up again. But uh, anyway, it's uh, November 27th. And uh, today I'm going to stream Marathon Evil. So let me... Which is... Where are you? There you are. There you go. Um, Marathon Evil is probably one of the very first uh, mods for, um, uh marathon infinity uh it was it's the uh the sequel to the uh the little map pack that i played uh yesterday um and uh what's to say it's it's not a complete overhaul of uh of marathon infinity it uses a lot of everything that's there as like a base and then it adds a few monsters, a few new weapons. <coughs> and, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those less is more kinds of things. It, it uses a lot of what's already there in the base game. And then just augments it for a uh, quite quite a uh, terrifying, uh, actually, uh, at least when I played it uh, way back when in the in the late 90s early 2000s when i was a kid quite a quite uh quite a terrifying hold on a sec yeah that's good uh, yeah quite a terrifying thing uh it came out so quick because uh the guy that put the team together was a beta tester for Marathon Infinity and had early access to the uh, the map making tools um, that uh, that uh, were released with Marathon Infinity. Um, and then actually, uh, folks from Bungie actually like play tested this mod, so it's there's a high level of uh, quality with this one. But uh, let's get started. There you go. Alright, so... This picks up right after... Uh, the pre- the little map-making mod where the, uh... The Hellraiser, the alien, the four ship that we, uh, boarded and disabled... Uh, disappeared. So... Let's see. Due to problems with the nuclear munitions in the weapons bay, everyone is instructed to evacuate. We are sorry to inconvenience... The inconvenience this might bring, but it's either your comfort or your life. The IGC network will resume standard operation when the situation is taken care of. TGC comm line open. Marine, this is your wake-up call. No one on board the ship was able to sleep since the disappearance of the Hellraiser except for you. At 400 hours, when the Hellraiser was supposed to be destroyed by the nuclear warhead, it disappeared into an unknown anomaly, some sort of spatial rift. Our ship's sensors were sent out of commission from the neutron blast to the warhead, detonating into free space. Because of that, we had no idea that whatever the Hellraiser went into is now pulling us in. That is, if you don't run your ass up here and help us counteract the situation, we're going in. Whatever that rift is, exactly, it activated all 13 of our remaining warheads. The crew and I are trying to disable them. 
Don't produce too many of the crew on the way. Dent over and out. All right, so... Name of the level is Mangle Him Really. I remember to turn on the, uh, the map overlay mode. Um... You can tell it's a Marathon Infinity mobs because uh, a mod because it's got vacuum bobs. Uh, you can like look around. There's some neat things. You look at the the names of the weapons. It's like. There's different weapon names for, like, the pistol, but I don't think it uh, actually does anything different. Um... One thing that I don't understand is, like, they went with, uh... This is supposed to be a UESC ship, but it's, like, very more in a line with, like, 4 design. Like, it uses a lot of 4 and Yarrow textures. Well, it does have the flashing alert signs, which, uh... Vacuum bobs on the outside of the ship. I think we want to go up, so... So we're supposed to go up to the bridge. This is Dent again. We are too late. Whatever that weapon tractor beam was, it just pulled us across six sectors. We won't be returning to Dow City for a long time. Luckily, we are near a planet that seems to have some structures there on. I had a feeling it's going to be another siege, but a whole lot worse. I'm down in the tent sensor terminal right now and checking out what we've picked up. Our people in the navigation section of the ship have found some kind of unknown complex on Makar, the planet below. We have no idea what it is, but we're all teleporting and boarding escape vessels with equipment and whatnot off this ship. I suggest you load up on whatever you can and get to the transport room to teleport down immediately. Remember those nukes in the dry dock? Well, those are about to blow. Time to jump ship. Dent out. So, time to go. It's uh, time to leave. I think the only thing to do is to go down into engineering. There's not a lot of... Uh, See, that, that door won't open. That door won't open, so I think we have to go to the elevator down. And, uh... That looks like a beam out room. Oh, this door does open. I guess that's the armory. Notice that the uh, rocket launcher has some like, little yellow tips on it. All stations on alert. Ammo hold locked. Dent authorized. Weapons hold locked. Dent authorized. Station status. Safe from breach. Dent authorized. Unfortunately, uh, we're not going to be able to get into that uh, armory before uh, we beam out, so... Anywhere else to go? Doesn't look like... Hold on, and hold on a second. I want to... I just... Uh...
Okay. Sorry about that. Um. Oops. Um. Take us And everybody's uh, beaming out. So uh, let's read this. Shade escape transport, active lock hold transport, affirmative, sustain active transport to override. Well, I guess we're just uh, beaming out. That's ominous, isn't it? All we have is a pistol, and now we have a shotgun. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. Welcome aboard. We teleported down here an hour ago. For a little bit, everything was fine. Then all hell broke loose. We sent a team of bobs of the Human Organic Waste Disposal Unit a how do down to the lower reaches of the area where you are now. They were never heard from again. A team of drones was then sent down to locate them. They were never heard from either, but we recovered a black box, image recorder, from one of them. The last thing it saw was a six foot long claw. This does not look good. You've been sent to the last recorded position of the how do team. Sorry about the shred of equipment, but we didn't have time to take much off the cruiser before we teleported down here. We will be keeping a teleporter lock on you. So we will transport you any new ammo which becomes available, as well as transporting out any surviving humans you find. Exterminate whatever has been killing our men and find out how much you can about this structure. So far, we've been unsuccessful in finding any useful information. Dent over now. All right. Uh, so uh, we're going to find one of the first, one of the new enemies, I think, like, immediately. Like right there. And those are Devlins. They are very quick. They, uh... The map maker for this really likes to put them in ambush type spot positions. Okay, I think that means the door opened up somewhere. Bob. Yeah, that door opened up. That door is not opening. And I have three shells left for the shotgun. There. See you, star side. Well, we have more shotgun shells. This is Lieutenant Robertson of UESC Science Team Iota Phi. As the batteries in our remote terminal station become weaker, it is less and less likely we will get out of this alive, so I wish to chronicle what has happened to us for anyone who finds us. Uh, we were members of the crew of the UESC Raider-class ship that was responsible for the Siege of Norcor. After the siege, we were pulled to some kind of hyperspatial rift and dragged halfway across the galaxy. We abandoned the ship onto this planet. Our team was sent to study the lower sections of the area. It wasn't long before we were attacked by a group of ugly creatures. They took us completely by surprise, and we were scattered. Johnson was killed not far from where we were attacked. I didn't see where Davis, who was carrying the Howdo, went. Lewis and Seam came with me, and we reached this small room. Our port turn was damaged in the fight, and we lost the ability to communicate with the rest of the crew. We have discovered that the Devlins, as we call them, cannot stand light, and we are managing to keep the one that follows us at bay with the port term spotlight. We have not been idle, however, and have discovered this from examining the alien systems before and after the attack. Recharge platforms. These platforms will radiate electrons at anyone activating them by moving onto them. Fully compatible with Shields and subtle, all human model cyborgs. Two, three, holographic technology. The architects of this structure had a much better grasp of holograph technology than we do. Example two is a similar to a human comm terminal. Well, well, three, displays the image of any alien species that enters the area. Four, this is another holographic image, but this one is very important. If any of the other crews should discover this, the four are here. 
Before the attack, we were able to study the terminals for a little bit and find out that the four are hiding in what appear to be a hangar not far from here. To reach them, a chip, two, must be recovered and installed at three. We cannot yet verify this, but it seems likely that Karth Pakor and his posse have abandoned ship into this structure as well. Our batteries are running out. The light won't be strong enough to hold off the devil in for long. I hear gunfire from above. I can only hope that it's humans that they arrive us in time. Arrive in time. Okay, so... That acts as a shield charger. Oh, this is open now. Four. Okay, that's the one on the left, right, is a save game? Um, this is Lieutenant Commander Freeman. Some Devlins attacked here. We only found half of Dent. Luckily, we managed to blow them into pieces before they did any serious damage. From the information recovered from Iota 5's port of term, we have managed to hack into these holographic terminals. We now can send data through them. Which will be displayed like this. I was trying to figure out what that was. It's just the rain. Oh, uh, you're going to have to get through to this hangar where the four base is, you, and you will receive further instructions there. From the science team's partial report, we found out that this is what you're going to have to do. Get the chip from location one. One will trigger the door at location two. Install the chip at location three. Three opens the huge door at location four. From there, the info is sketchy, but we think you should reach the hangar fairly soon. Be on the lookout for old defense systems. Sorry we keep making you do stuff like this, but you're the only reliable marine available. Okay, so that door is now open. And we have the chip. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this close corner. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, we got four. I'm going to run backwards, and I'm going to heal myself up. There we go. Ouch. Okay, so the, that's what I wanted to see if that was... Those are defense things. Just wondering if they were going to turn on or not. That's uh, one thing that uh, the maker of this uh, this mod really likes is uh, defense turrets and uh, whatnot. Um, save. Oh, and the name of this level is uh, Ten Thousand Spoons. This is Dyer, your new commanding officer. We can't seem to hold on to anybody here. You're overlooking the hangar that the four have made into a fairly functional base. Not bad on their part, eh? We've been able to access more of the alien computer system and found that there's this room nearby where liquid fuel is being stored. We're going to flood their base. This term will tell Peter over there, and I'll tell you what to do. Too, ba too bad about Freeman, but he was a wuss anyway. Now get over there. Okay, pal. 
you've got to do beyond the hallway is... We meet again, human, but this time it shall be different. I am Karth Pakor. You've taken Norcor from me, but now I shall destroy you and your pitiful cruiser. This ship is mine. You will not take it from me. Close, almost ran out of room. Okay. We'll just punch everything beer, wine, guns, ammo, picnic supplies. I guess this is that room on the right that we passed. Looks like it's flooded now. Four translator active. Pitiful fuels. Fuels? Fools. You don't know what you do. Our base would not be in such an obviously weak location. My forces are stationed far from here, off the ship. You are becoming a thorn in my side, and now I shall pluck you out. With the technology of the ship, I have become invincible. You will feel my wrath, human. Prepare to fall. I do not have long entry into this place. Revive me only slight. Revive me only. I'm going to His powers are here. You cannot match him. Flee, flee. Okay, so that's a 2x shield charger. And... Game saved. Static. Hmm. I guess I can just go back and, uh... Yeah, you are supposed to run from them. Dire again, in case you were running, you're not really outside. You're standing a giant for holographic projector. You finally managed to hack through Cart's lockout to get to you, and have some information we found in the previous system before the lockout. But to put it simple, his armor has some sort of energy field surrounding it that conventional munitions cannot penetrate. We do have a plan, though. I'll let our science, chief science officer explain. This is Rogart, chief science officer of the Mobius. One of the projects that was ongoing at the time of the attack on Norcor was a prototype weapon. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but you may be seeing it sometime in the future. Unfortunately, the prototype itself has been destroyed, but we still have some of the nuclear devices it fires. We have reconfigured these into powerful fusion grenades, which can be fired from a standard MAU MDM 36 uh, centimeter assault rifle. I assume CM is centimeter. Um, they pack quite a punch, and we believe they can cut right through... Karth shields. Our readings indicate that its armor has been 
seriously upgraded. Also, you'll need to score direct hits with most of them to kill them. One more thing, your in-helmet data readout will register them as normal grenades. So, we need to take the grenades we picked up with this gun and use it to kill that guy. I whiffed it at that one. This is a lot harder when I was just keyboard. There we go. And the big bad from the previous map pack is dead. And now we just have a nice little uh, jumping puzzle. Dyer here. Good job killing Pakor. We thought it from here when the bastard's fusion packs blew him straight to hell. Well, you've been out fighting Karth. We've made several important discoveries. Among them, the fact this is not a ground-based structure as originally thought. It's actually a craft spaceship. Now that we know this, we have a way off this miserable dirt ball of dirt. The ship's maneuvering pressures are out, but the main drive seems to be fine. Our science teams have taken our escape pod from the Mobius and hooked them up to make a makeshift maneuvering system. We're going to start up the systems, then teleport you up, so it may be a bumpy ride. Okay, all dressed up and no place to go. All right. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to... Oh, it's okay. Oh, gosh. I hardly have any ammo. I guess we'll just, uh... Use the good old fashioned tried and true pistol. Hey, there's lava down there. You don't want to go down there. So, this is just the floor of the, the valley that we started in. Um, hmm. I guess we have to do kind of um, follow the, the ledges around. And jump over here. I guess we're now fighting, uh, troopers. Okay, lava. Let's... Terminal. Incoming message from UESC cruiser Mobius. Dyer here. Sorry about that. When I activated the jump pad, the crew set up the main systems and everything went wacky. In other words, the transport system faulted and sent you on a previous program. It happened to send you here. We've been wandering the lower atmosphere looking for you and found you here in a dormant IPIT, Interplanetary Industrial Transporter. Looks like it's been around a while. I've heard stories about huge Christ ships, which transported food and supplies to Mars, transported these IPITs all over the galaxy to replace the Christs themselves. The I 
IPITs would always burn up their fusion cores and thus were abandoned. That was before we had encountered all this alien tech. We're duplicating an alien power core right now to power the IPIT. Since you're already down there, we're going to need you to do some things inside while we position the new core in its containment sector outside. We plan to drag the ship into the IPIT and teleport the whole thing to the Axis, to Axis Omega, the nearest UESC occupied planet. To your left, you can see that to get to the IPIT control stations, you'll need to activate two card key access panels. I've no idea where these damn keys are, if they are even here. Do your best to find them and use them at the indicated insertion points. Report to Pumping Station Epsilon for more info. Alright. Do all these open, or is it... That's a d dark, creepy hallway. With the switch. Up. Oh. Uh. That was uh. That was that surprised me. How many grenades does it take to kill these guys? A full clip of grenades. Great. other than things that want to kill me? Oh, gosh. Oh. Where do you come from? This is not looking good. I'm not doing too... Oh. Sometimes the map gods are generous. All I have is pistol ammo left. This is not that good. Oh, those are turrets, I think. What's down here? Oh, that's where we put one of the chips. Go next. 
I don't think that was, uh... Oh, there's a switch down there. Shooting. Oh, that guy. Oh, hello. I guess this is the, uh, pumping station. Uh, system analysis, uh, coolant low, control stationary, flows stopped. Uh, da -da -ba -ba -ba. please write down this report. Power failure, okay. I guess we can just hit the switches. Okay, those are explodey bobs. Okay, there's chip one. Good news, everybody. We got one chip. A beam out. Okay. All right. Let's see. I've been actually down here. I don't think. Much to do down there. Thank you. 
I don't know why that four just jumped in the uh, lava. Oh, I'm getting some graphical tearing here. We'll just let We got a fusion pistol now. Incoming message from Dyer. We have the core created and are placing it in the reactor containment chamber outside. The only problem is that we need to get the systems back in line that is deep below in the heart of this place. We have to go down where all the override toggles are and restart the systems. Once that is done, we'll be able to get out of here. Good luck, soldier. Dyer out. I hit all the switches. Okay, so uh, that gives us the uh, other chip. This is uh, probably one of the more tense sections of this, S early parts of the scenario at least. Uh, I don't know why I just walked up to that dev one that was chilling in the back.
He's dead. Okay, we can go and recharge our stuff. Unless we can't. I mean that's also an option. I wonder if we can oh, I didn't want to I didn't want to go here. That one's still active, so Okay, so... Chip number two. It's dumb of me. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, look, secret door. Terminal. Incoming message from Colin James. I hope you enjoyed this level so far. I think you enjoy also what you have left. Please, please, please email any comments you may have about this level for a very long time on it. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. I don't think there's... Uh, there's no way to shut off those, uh... fusion things. I wonder if I can, uh, I wonder if I can at least use that save game terminal thing. I'm just gonna run in a circle. Oh, didn't even take any damage. <coughs> Ride the elevator down. Oh, you can see a devil in right over there.
Devlins do not care about lava. Okay. Here's one. I figured one, one of them would have, uh... Okay. This is Gyre. That's General Dyer to you. I've been promoted for my heroic efforts inside the Eye Pit facility. What heroics? I'll tell you what heroics. Why, the ones you just performed. I've spent my career picking up pissants like you after every important mission. And who gets the glory? The taxi driver? No. This time, the glory is mine. Yep, Dyer uh, double-crossed us. So we'll save. And we'll, uh, see what's going on here. Who is there? Who has breathed life into my decayed neural net? Is it you? I have been watching you. You have helped me. I am, I am the gatekeeper. I tend the gates. Your friends are leaving without you. Do not worry, I will help you. You help me, I will help you. Uh, teleportation sequence activated. Go. Destination found. Subject particle separation initialized. Take care of yourself. Ambush. This is Hackers. That wasn't intentional to jump in, but... It sounds like there's... Starts the ovens to quite a battle. Okay, health there. Welcome, Marine. I am Lieutenant Maxwell. We were a bit surprised to see you warp in like that. We didn't know who you were until General Dyer saw you and flipped out, screaming about how you couldn't be here because he left you to die in an old eye pit station. By questioning him as to what he meant, he attacked one of the guards. So he tried to put Dyer under arrest, but he transferred himself off the ship, down under the surface of where we are now, and he's showing no life signs. Good riddance. I'm on Valkyrie Station, a UESC fort of operations for the sector. After reports of an immense alien battle over this planet, we headed out to see what happened. Apparently a warship of unknown origin and race is forced down to the surface, only after destroying seven of the four's top destroyers. We want that ship. It's currently being combat swept by the four, and they have no idea we're here, so we'll be taking them by surprise. Exterminate anything you see, but beware. There may be something down there we don't know about. 
You are currently in that ship. It seems to have been half buried when it crash landed, and over time, some structures were built to support many portions of it, perhaps possibly to reduce further damage to the ship itself. We don't know who built the external supports, but I'm sure you've already seen some of it. Oh, by the way, when General Dyer escaped, he took the prototype Athena class seven rail device with him. This tool was used to repair a large section of the old Christ supply ships. They fired large shards of metal in which to nail something down. However, they were tuned, turned for the use of killing in the second generation Holy War of 2250. We, can, we encourage you to get this weapon because it'll be some time before we can build another one. Remember, keep on your guard. We don't know what's down there, if anything at all. And if you see Dyer, bury a nail on his back just for me. Maxwell out. Okay, this is Hackers. And... The four do not like those cyborgs. Ooh, what's that? That doesn't look like an alien from the original Marathon games. Oh, we can't shoot it from here. Oh, the vacuum bobs on in this uh, game uh, mod will actually use the charged fusion pistol. in the map. That's just kind of a light thing going on. Oh yeah, the cyborgs, instead of like using napalm at close range, uh, they uh, use a machine gun. Here's a new alien. Quite, uh, can take quite a beating. Took a direct, almost direct hit, and then nothing happened. Took a 
Quick save. Okay, so... Kind of a little unsure of where to go next in this level. Okay, all those four are dead. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting in here. Probably have to double back. Okay, should take us back to the uh, thing at the beginning of the level.
All right, so let's see what's down here. Let's see the error messages. Okay, last one is this one. I think this one has uh, dent hiding in it with the railgun. Railgun. Ta-da! All around the corpse is lay, getting greener day by day. Nothing can withstand the might of such a deathly sickening sight. So bow your heads and pray for mercy that you not succumb to the heresy. Let love wind blow through your hair. Stay away from the devil's lair. For if you fall victim and join the fields of dead, uh, dreams of salvation soon leave thy head. General Robert E. Dyer of the UESC. For a simulacrum class E intruder series. Yeah, he was, uh... He was one of those uh, simulacrums all along, but uh, we have a railgun now. You don't want to use this thing in close range. Um, Unfortunately, this is uh, an extermination level, and I've... I kind of ignored some enemies, so we'll have to go and uh, make sure we get them all. Nothing here. I wonder if it'll give us the option of teleporting out from the starting terminal. Probably not. No. I think I killed everything, so I think it's just a matter of getting to that terminal again. Which 
why I have to jump down here and kill anything down here. Is there anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so... If you want to see why you don't use the rail driver at close range. Actually, it will only do damage to you if you use it on something, on an enemy at close range, so. No, that's not a... Good work. I'm sending drones and bobs down to clean the place up and inhabit it. Before we leave these armed civilians here all alone, we need you to do something for us. Only you and I know this. I was monitoring your actions down below, and I saw that strange alien. We ran it through our databanks and could not find out what it was, so we ran it through the library of the 11th clan, and this is what we got for a reply. We searched for these creatures from long ago. They were known as the Keeper of the Laws. They were an elite race. They were the us of them, the cur of the slaver race, watchers, keepers, herders of the slaver race. They are powerful, yes, very powerful. Battle group 8 of the 11th clan was tortured by them. They are a threat. Yes, the mighty god Snichitha said, if the slaver had a mighty race, there would be an apocalypse. All life would end. The spit would lie in ruins. As the slavers would travel on, these elders must be destroyed. We have warned you. Also, while you were out, we noticed a peculiar anomaly. You spotted a second sh alien ship. This one seems to have been here for a long time. Long, long time. Maybe the reason why the first ship was defending this area? Anyway, we're sending you over there to scope it out. Mr. Bill meets Gumby. I'll just be able to get all this stuff. Charge shields. I'm gonna save. And I'm going to be right back. Where is it? Uh, there it is. I will be right back.
Hello, I'm back. And we left off on uh, Mr. Bill Beats Gumby. Um, probably I'll do a couple more levels. And then that'll be it. This is Private Miller from Special Operations. We are told to eliminate the saline race by the Sit Kerr. The Special Operations Department of the USC decided to ignore that. They wished for you to capture them. We located the second ship and discovered that there are a few of the Mystic Four inside. We registered hardly any movement, but since this show they are alive. Also, a large energy source has been reported within. Probably fragments from the energy core. We will need you to lock these specimens in that section of the ship. However, due to reasons unknown, the shuttle didn't you're currently in didn't reach the destination I planned. You were to land outside a large lake where the alien ship is submerged. Instead, the shuttle careened out of control and rammed into some ruins nearby. Getting to the ship doesn't look too difficult. There seems to be life forms around, but the signatures are intermittent on our sensors, so you can't tell what they are. Just be on your best behavior and kill anything that gets in your way. In the back of the shuttle, you will find an uplink chip. Use this chip on the first computer-like terminal you come across. That way, I will be linked in and be able to communicate to you when needed. I will communicate with you when the ship is chip is inserted. Uh, let's see. Mr. Bill meets Wendy. Oh, come on. My mouse pad is not cooperating. There's one thing that the uh, map creator does really, really well is making it look like shadows that crashed into the buildings. Not sure what that does, but I think we'll want it. Um, to try and like position the three. Try and line it up with the little marks on the, uh... Not sure if it'll do anything, but... It's a... Door slot. This looks uh, ominous. There we go. Good work. The chip is working fine. This used to be a station of sorts for the mystics. Most of it is gone, but things still seem to work. The enemy ship is to the north. Make your way to it and get inside. Once inside, you can't miss a huge central chamber. When you find it, there should be some sort of override switch to seal the area. Send information for you from the commander. After you captured that other ship with the mystic in it, we were able to search out and clean up everything. We found something very interesting in the hole deep in the ship. They seem to be drones of cybernetic nature. They were all turned off and in hibernation of some sort, so we were not in any danger when we encountered them. A group of scientists are working now to reanimate them for our use. 
You seem to be able to do a lot of things, so you hope to get them doing shipwide maintenance and repairs. As of right now, our attempts to get anything functioning are feasible at best. You just might have to throw the mech into storage. Nice little mystic guy popping in. Oh, I remember this room. This is definitely a room. That looks as about right, maybe. Oh, it's only you. I remember reading that there's an invisible one in there. Let's head back to the um, shuttle, recharge our shields, and save.
Oh, is that where we're supposed to go? The room that I had strong memories of? Okay. Opens that, and I think the problem is, is that... Yeah, you don't want to get hit by that. Charge our shields. Switch. I think that opened up these door in the other outdoor area. Yep. Oh, gray four. I think the upper part of that
Oh, I see what you really have to do. Some goodies. But I think there's nothing else here. Nice health charge, though. Um. Oh. Rocket launcher spawned in behind me. Bye bye. Okay. Um, we'll just uh, head back out here. Hit the switch again. There we go. And I think this is going to be the, uh, the lake. The alien ship in it. Yep. And there's the alien ship. I think the entrance is... Over here. And, uh, he reuses the uh, airlock mechanic. So, this is the uh, alien ship, the other one. Oh, that's a uh, defense mechanism there. I don't know if the the door that door is locked. Door is locked. Big boy. the elevator down. There's a bunch of mystics and see if we can uh, seal them. 
Time to make like a tree marine. The terminal's jump pad has been rendered useless by a mass surge in energy flow. The ship is not, I repeat, not dormant. All ask back to your shuttle now. We will debrief you there. Oh, this is not good. He's dead. Get out. Okay, I think the only way out is down. All the way down, like... Okay, back down to where we found the Devlins. Can I just run by him? Since Devlins do not like light. Save. Mystics are not happy from what you've done. They are powering up their ship. We have no idea how, but when they meditate, they discharge or store a whole lot of energy. All the energy they've been storing is the capability to warp them across the known galaxy 24 not 2490 times faster than our current technology. When you activated the terminal on their ship, you allowed me to implant a device that will intercommunicate with the Aeon on board and help me us track it down. We can't destroy them before they leave because the Valkyrie doesn't have the firepower to destroy them. The other newly acquired ship is still in repairs. I'm going to put you into stasis till we need you. Actually, when we find the mystics and need your expertise in battle to take them over again, the back of the shuttle contains a transporter to send you to stasis. Silence. Oh, cryo me to sleep. Find a save point. Yep, save point. Okay, uh, I will pick this up sometime tomorrow. Actually, uh, this week I'm going to be on kind of like a modified streaming schedule. I'll uh, I'll go update my schedule like 
but because uh, kind of my schedule for when I cook, days I cook and whatnot, it's all screwed up from my travel. Um, I'm gonna I cook dinner, not cook something else. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be stream. I think I'm gonna stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Friday instead of Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, the first, uh, I'd say the first, like, third Marathon Evil, maybe, maybe a little bit more, um, probably, uh, we'll finish it up on either, I think so really well tomorrow, we'll finish it up tomorrow, otherwise it'll be Wednesday, yeah. And I need to think if I want to do Origin of Species or Tempest I Ride uh, next. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that's going to be the, uh, the stream for today. So, see you next time.